Star Wars The Acolyte. The trailer has broken the record for the most viewed or whatever. Uh, but that's not good, is it? Because the dislikes are absolutely out of this world. Mm, very, very funny. Also, it's looking like a bunch of bots over on Twitter are trying to promote the series as well. So we've got a whole lot to dive into today. Lucasfilm up to their usual tricks, I would say. It's not like this is unheard of. It's not like we haven't seen them do stuff like this before. But let's take a look, shall we, ladies and gents? Yes, we shall. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Please do consider becoming a member of the channel. Really would help out. Uh, we get massive demonetization here. So yeah, become a member for as little as a dollar twenty-seven cents. Links down below. Anyway, so it break you know it, it breaks a trailer record for Star Wars. So it, it's a, you know it's a record breaker. Interesting, but it also receives some of the most dislikes as well in terms of the like to dislike ratio very 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 funny so we have this here uh, and it says the first trailer for the Ac acolyte for some reason divided opinions i i wouldn't say that uh, i wouldn't say it's like for some reason we know why the latest star wars tv series has a female showrunner predominantly female cast so that might go somewhere in explaining it no uh, it might be because they break canon might be that the showrunner was also the personal assistant of harvey weinstein I mean, clearly she knew what was going on, allegedly, very obviously. Allegedly, she knew what was going on. So, there's a lot of reasons why this is bad. Breaks canon as well. Just looks pretty bad. Looks generic. Character design looks generic. Uh, the trailer itself looks generic. It looks like they stole Arcane from Netflix. That uh, story, plot line, was like, we're we just going to do it like this. Like, that's what it looks like. So, yeah, not good. But anyway, uh, so it says this, released, uh, released yesterday, the trailer for The Acolyte garnered 51.3 million views in its first uh, 24 hours. So this is across everything. Uh, this is a new digital-only record for any Lucasfilm Disney Plus series, surpassing every trailer for The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and or Obi-Wan Kenobi Ahsoka. We're grateful for your support and can't wait for you to experience the series. Yeah, but it's still not good. So 7.4 million views on YouTube, right? It did also take uh, like two days to get there. And I'm, I'm pulling up the uh, trailer now because there's a few things to consider when you look at the trailer and it's not actually anywhere near as good as what you think it is. So let's look at the trailer now. I've got it up here. Uh, it says 8.150 uh, million views. So 8.1 million views. 350,000 dislikes. 350,000 dislikes. That's insane. It took three days to get there. Three days to get to the 8.1 million views. So that's not great. Now, compare that, ladies and gents. We're living in a weird timeline. Compare that to Alien Romulus that was released... What? It's, this is coming up to its second day. 8.3 million views, 120,000 likes, but only 7,000 dislikes. We're, we're living in a timeline where an alien trailer, teaser trailer, not even a trailer, an alien teaser trailer has got more views than a, than a Star Wars trailer and it has a better like to dislike ratio. I mean, I personally love this timeline because I can keep making videos on the Acolyte. Hopefully you guys keep enjoying them and then amazingly you know hopefully youtube will uh, you know actually monetize those videos and i might be able to buy a classic car um it's a running it's a running meme but this timeline is very very interesting the fact that again an alien teaser trailer has got uh, more views and a better like to dislike ratio than star wars i mean that's saying something right ladies and gents surely um so yeah this is wrong now like again 350,000 dislikes and they're saying it's review bombing. No, it's not. It's not review bombing at all. Uh, and I think it's important, you know, we'll take a look back at the trailer because there is literally no good comment. There is no good comment. And and it's just a meme. The whole the whole thing is, close your eyes, what do you see? The comment section getting turned off. What do you see? Dune part two. I see my mother researching spiders in the Amazon before she died. I mean, it's just a meme. I see a, part, a particular episode of South Park. I see George Lucas sobbing in a tub of money. 
the Uruks to northeast. They're taking the Hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> it's brilliant. And then we have, ladies and gents, as I said, uh, the potential that there is botting going on, or at least blue check marks on Twitter trying to boost the Star Wars Acolyte. So let's take a look, right? Social media analyst and commentator master of the TDS has been revealing a consistent phenomenon on X that seems to use paid verified blue check accounts to bypass Elon Musk's defenses. The account posts uh, similar statements about targeted products and or entertainment in a way that one, probably costs a ton of money and two, raises visibility of the product entertainment via engagement of those upper tier accounts. So they're just manipulating exposure. Uh, where these accounts are coming from and who is controlling them is unknown, but their overwhelming system of messaging similar statements in tandem is obviously a concerted effort. And though surely there are some that are real humans caught up in so many artificial accounts, it's clear they're now a significant part of how some entities wish to move the needle when it comes to social media. So it is artificially uh, inflating hype. Uh, and you have it here. So proven once again that I have something here with these blue checkmark Twitter bots promoting Disney's movies and shows, I've discovered their latest effort. And we'll take a look a bit closer at this. So it says, a combination of blue check and non-blue checkmark bot accounts promoting the latest offering in Disney Plus, The Acolyte, on a post with 21,000 likes uh, and 10,000 views. Someone call the Trade Federation and tell them we found their droid army. That's amazing. Uh, if you use these in a video or article, please be sure to credit me. Of course. Master of TDS. Uh, I think we follow each other. So, yeah, uh, absolutely credit goes to you, good sir. And people should follow him as well. Um, but this stuff's crazy. You know, let's just have a quick look. Excitement soars as the trailer for Star Wars Acolyte sends fans into a frenzy. 21 likes. I mean, what? And then it says more. Fans are buzzing. Fans are buzzing. Fans are thrilled. Fans are thrilled. I mean, yeah, these... What? Thrilled fans are buzzing. Fans are ecstatic. Fans are ecstatic. What the hell is going on? Fans are buzzing. Fans are thrilled. Fans rejoice. Fans rejoice. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I mean, it's madness. This, this is pretty insane stuff. So, yeah, it does look like they are running bot accounts, for sure. Uh, and the article says, uh, Master of TDS shows an uncanny similarity in the post. Yeah, we know it's obvious what's going on. Uh, this is not the only entity seeing tremendous support from what might be botting. Uh, it's also not the first time that Disney Entertainment Properties have been the recipients of positive conversation from what could be synthetic, non-human efforts. And these, again, seem to be very expensive efforts by someone, not necessarily Disney, it is Disney, to alter what is trending, what is acceptable, etc. on social media. In fact, using bots has been so prevalent in the last year in order to create the appearance of outraged mobs and or excited hordes of fans that it may be part and parcel of building and destroying careers. I would imagine that as well. Um, so good on him. You know, he's doing really good work here, Master TDS. That's insane stuff to show. But like I said, the Acolyte trailer may have broken some records, but it's also absolutely bombed in terms of dislikes. Disney's just nuked Star Wars into oblivion. The Acolyte has nuked Star Wars into oblivion. This is just confirmation. Remember, ladies and gents, they're making a Ray Star Wars movie. Put that into perspective. Put that into perspective. They're making a Ray Star Wars movie again. Another one. For God's sake. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. Again, Master TDS, please do give him a follow over on Twitter. Does good work. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.